Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Gold. Last episode, we caught the shiny Gyarados at the Lake of Rage and then we helped Lars defeat Team Rocket in Mahogany Town. In today's episode, we are going to get the 7th Gym Badge, head to Golden Rod City and then stop Team Rocket's uh, master plan. Alright, so let's start doing this and yo, what up man? This gym has a slippery floor. It's fun, isn't it? No, it's not because ice puzzles are the worst puzzles in Pokemon. Usually, like, puzzles I'm, I'm pretty good with, but ice puzzles, I don't know what it is about them, I just... Ah, they're so difficult. So difficult for me. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to hopefully get Togetic, and we can get Espeon because it's night time, I can just change the clock on my DS and make it daytime at some point. But I know for a fact Eevee isn't going to evolve a level 32, because it's my second time recording this part, because after I beat this trainer, I had a power cut. Yeah, I had to restart everything, that's, that's fun. <laughs> But hopefully get a Togetic, that would be super nice, because then we can just fly to uh, Goldenrod after this gym. If not, it's fine, I'll just cut to when we get there and I'll just have to bike there. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, because we can just rack up all them steps, increase that happiness, which is always nice. But I want to try and get on level 32 right now, so let's now go with uh, Togepi. And start going for them headbutts. Gonna equally train everyone, I mean Scyther's gonna be struggling to uh, level up in here, maybe Gyarados as well, but... Everyone else should get level 32, which would be nice. Ooh, not bad damage, Togepi, not bad. If it was a Togepi, it would struggle in this gym, being part flying, but... Oh, you're good. And you froze me? Are you serious? Oh, that's not good. Come on. I better get frozen solid for like 20 turns. Right, come on, Togepi. Heat up, boy. Bring in a frying pan. Get some fried eggs going. Oh wow. Oh, my berry. Kicking in, give me that HP, nice. Yeah, you enjoy while I'm frozen, that's that's great swine up. Our right, last turn. Otherwise I'm gonna switch out. Then go heal up after. Oh my god, are you serious? Wow. Okay, let's go into clamps. Clamps can finish it off. Level 26 sniper. I think we'll we'll be fine against price. Like, it seems like I'm slightly over leveled. Everyone being, you know, in the 30s and we're battling 20s right now. But really, we're not. We're quite a decent level. So as you guys saw that Jasmine had a little 35 Steelix. The gym leaders in this game are a lot higher level than the trainers, which I, I kind of like. But I kind of wish the um. So I wish price was, would be about level 40 right now, and then the gym, the gym trainers be about, you know, 30, 31. So that way we're not over-leveled, but we're under-leveled with the gym. I always think gym battles, we should be under-leveled, because, you know, it's supposed to be a challenge. If you're the right level or over-leveled, it just makes it too easy. The only gym that was hard for me was Whitney because of the Miltank and Attraction, which was not fun, and Morty because of Hypnosis. One move that screws over my whole team. Right, how do I do this uh, gym puzzle? I need to switch Eevee, don't I, real quick? Get Togepi, do not get frozen this time, that would be great. And I do want to battle that guy, but how do I do this? Nope. Wait, can I get behind? No. I think I know how to, I need to get to that spot right to my right here. Then let's go up, and then I land on there. And then I can um, take one right and I'm at price. Question is, how do I do it? <laughs> Damn, ice puzzles. Ooh, shoulder. It's gonna headbutt that. Headbutt that all day. All day, every day. We shouldn't do bad damage. Like three headbutts, potentially four. Aura Beam really does eight damage. You can take them on Aura Beams. So good. Right, please get taken out with the next headbutt. I feel like it might live with like 1 HP. Please don't live, please don't live. No, it lived with 1 HP. Ah, that sucks. It's fine. It's fine. One more headbutt. Goodbye, shelter. Alright, and you got Cloyster. Ooh, I don't think we can beat Cloyster. I'll give it a go. I think Cloyster might be a bit too bulky for us. Oh, now 
switch out. Can't live against that. And we do like no damage. Okay, yep. Uh, let's go to Jason. We'll go for a nice Thunder Punch. And then that should hopefully take that out real quick. Okay, good. So after we beat Price, I'm trying to remember how the Team Rocket Radio Tower incident works. I'm, I'm pretty sure we have to clear the Radio Tower first, get to a certain point. Then we learn where the uh, Director is. Go and rescue the Director, get the key, then we go back and then we can finish it off. But when we go after the Director, I think we'll probably do that next episode because it might take a while to get to that bit. And we got to fight our rival as well. Which is going to be fun. The last Pokemon is another Shelter, which I think my Togepi can probably take out. 29 HP? Yeah, he's got this. But Price should be really easy to beat. I mean, we can just... Flame Wheel, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Rock Smash. We'll be good. I don't need to worry about Price. He's probably the easiest gym leader in this game. Or one of them. To be fair, Bugsy's probably the easiest with, uh, if you pick Cyndaquil. Let's go for them embers. Destroy Bugsy like we did back in, like, episode 3? Very long time ago. Oh, one more battle and then we are level 32. And the moment of truth whether or not we get a, uh, Togetic or not. How do we do this? Oh! Sweet. Hey! There you go. That price. I'm not going to use Togepi, I'm going to switch out, but... Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Alright, bring it on, Price. Bring it on. I like how he's wearing shorts and a t-shirt in like his ice gym. <laughs> I think in like the newer games, doesn't he wear like a coat? Looks more suited for the winter. But let's just switch out real quick. Go into Jason. Can fun to punch that seal. Come on, eat it up. There we go, nice. Fun to punch! we kill on one hit, won't be surprised. Hey, let's go on Frost. Oh, I still didn't get a little fate too, seriously. Alright, Pillar Swine, go back into Eevee, and then I'll switch out again. The ones that went, sorry, Eevee, Togepi, once Togepi's level 32, we're gonna go into Eevee for the final Pokemon and switch out again, just so Eevee can get experience against uh, Price. I, don't, I think, the way I read it when I was looking at how to boost happiness in this game, it says you actually have to battle with them, not just have them on your team, which is kind of annoying. But, I mean, that, you know, if that's how he wants to do it, it's fine, I guess. I was going to Natsu, oh, this could be dangerous. Don't go for like a ground type move. Blizzard, okay, that's good. As it freezes me, that would suck. Right, Flame Wheel! See, how does Price have lower level Pokemon than Jasmine? It doesn't make, doesn't make sense. You're the 7th Jimmy, you should have higher level than uh, the 6th, surely. But no. Right, one more Flame Wheel. I think your last Pokemon was a Dugong, isn't it? Let's just go back and chase him for him, Thunder Punch it. Nice and easy. Right, 32. Come on, give me that toga tick. Give me that toga tick! I really hope we get it. I really hope we get it. Because that way I can teach it fly and fly the golden rod. Save so much time. Uh, let's go in Esper. And then we'll switch out. Level 29, oh my god. I thought we level like, you know, at least 30. Damn, praise. I need to grind a little bit. Don't lose easily. I, I I find that hard to believe. I, I feel like you look, <laughs> you go down easy. So ridiculous. Oh, he's he's a predator that takes you out in one hit. There you go. Critical hit. Easiest gym leader of Pokemon Gold and Silver. 
super easy. Right, come on, Togepi. Oh, what have you the badge? Okay, here we go. Yes! Finally! We're getting Togetic! Woo! It only took what? What episode is this? Episode 9? Nine? 9 episodes? So long to get! Oh, look at that butt. That butt. <laughs> Woo! Togetic, man. Took you long enough. Got the Glacia badge. So happy we got that Togepi. Now we just need a uh, Espeon. And this, uh, this is a gift from me. What do we get? Please be Ice Beam. Ice Beam would be sweet. Icy, oh, Icy Wind. Eh, not great. All right, so what we're gonna do is we need to head to Golden Rod. But before we do that, there's a few things I want to get. Nope. Faulty, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. They were talking about Team Rocket? Faulty, you know anything about this? Uh, maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you, take care. That's all I have to say. Right, so. What are we doing, you're probably going to ask. Well, first we're going to heal up. And then we're going to actually go see Professor Realm. Because I want to know what he says once you, you know, show him that the egg hatched. Which we should have done... Like episode two, <laughs> but I want to go all the way back to our uh, new bark just to, like, yo, look, it hatched. And as we go all the way back, we know we've got fly. We go see Mr. Pokemon because we have this red scale right here, very important. And then we're gonna go to Goldenrod. Yeah, Tuki, can learn fly. Uh, let's get rid of Growl. I want to keep Headbutt. Headbutt's too good. My team has come along nicely though. Alright, let's fly to New Bark Town. Next, go and see Professor Elm. Yo, what up, Professor? Fawlty, you look great! What, the Pokémon? The egg hatched? So, Pokemon are born from eggs? No, perhaps not all Pokemon are. Wow, there's still a lot of research to be done. Thanks, Volty. You're helping unravel Pokemon mysteries for us. We need to have this as a token of our appreciation. Everstone, yay! Let's stop a Pokemon from evolving, that's just, uh... That's just what I want. <laughs> what Pokemon do you, would anyone, like, not want to evolve? Seriously. <laughs> anyway. Uh, next let's just go to... The fastest way to get there will probably be... Cherry Grove? Or would going from Violet City be faster? Doesn't matter, we've got a bike. Doesn't matter. Right. And who are we going to lead off with, actually? Let's lead off with Cypher. Or Gyarados. I haven't used Gyarados. Really? Oh, so that'd be a good idea. Give XP Shedder clamps until he's 32. Up we go. <gasps> Spinarak. Spinarak's like sprite looks so weird in this game. Almost at the house. No. Oh. Too many encounters. I mean, trying to go fast and run away, shiny Pokemon do not help with that little sparkle. Ah! Not cool, man! Not cool! Hoo hoo ee! To be fair, I'm kind of expecting to run to like, Entei Swike Swikun, Suicune or Raikou. <laughs> Swikun. The mixture of Suicune and Raikou together. Speaking of legendary beasts, uh, Entei's now left the UK on Pokemon Go and Suicune's coming. Oh, I'm so happy with Suicune. Like, Raikou, I, I like Raikou, but not really, you know, that excited to get him. Or a Suicune, I was like, oh, please be next, I want to get Suicune for the uh, for Pokemon Go so bad. But now we have, oh, okay, our bag's full. Uh, let's just toss this. Really put some uh, items in the box, that'd be a good idea. That's right, I want it. What, do we care to trade it for uh, XP share? Yeah, man, let's go. Definitely take that. 100%. Life is delightful. Always new discoveries to be made. Good. 
Alright, pack. And... I need to sell that nugget. At some point. Right, next let's fly to Golden Lord City. It's just here. Thinking about it, like, Jodo is, isn't actually that big, it's quite small. We thought it'd be a lot bigger, but ooh, Team Rocket blocking off a lot of, uh, Goldenrod. And we're gonna go in here. That's not the radio tower, is it? Or is this the radio tower? This is where we want to go. But I think we might need a disguise first, don't we? We've finally taken over the radio tower. Now everyone will get to experience the true terror of Team Rocket. We'll show you how scary we are. Okay. Thought we need the uh, disguise first, but... Guess I was wrong. Is it this game here, disguise? Or is it only in a uh, hot gold soul silver? Can't remember. Anyway. Oh, Rally Cake could be a pain in the butt. Don't super fang me or hyper fang me. Spooky face, okay. Hopefully we still outspeed ya. I would love to get a flinch. Which is not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> Let's go Dragon Rage finish you off. Quick attack? No need for that, you can't speed me, dude. Pointless. Another eradicate. Great. Spamming that dragon rage. Because it's probably for the best move we have. Doing that 40 damage. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. You have less than 80 HP? Two dragon rages and you're still out. Nice. Oh, yeah, I flinched, seriously. Can't believe you made me flinch. Not cool, man. go, nice. Too strong! We must watch you. Yep. Watch me go right past you. Uh, let's quickly heal up before we take you on. Might be a good idea. I only have two potions left. Ooh. That will be fine. They're not that tough. Yo, what up? Ha 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 ha! How boring! It was far too easy to take over this place. Come on, keep me amused. I'll try. You know, thinking about it, like... I can't really remember a Pokemon game like, where you don't have, like, your Final Evolution starter, like, just playing for the game casually, like I have. Don't have your Final Evolution starter by, like, the fifth gym. Like, I'm just thinking, we got seven badges and we still have a Qualava. <laughs> Not like I haven't been using them as well. Let's train up everyone equally. If we had a Typhlosion, it'd be super OP. Let's go, Dragon Rage! Nice, man. This guy is pretty strong. Pretty strong! Oh, well, that was it. Oh. We have more than that. Coolio. Yo, what up? Hey, hey! Alright, Krusty. <laughs> Keep out of our way. Hey, hey, kids! Me, crossing the crown! <laughs> oh, that was terrible. It's been so long since I watched Simpsons. Cool. That one Pokemon? Like, it's gotta be two, yeah, Zubat. I think it's one Zubat. Bit too easy, if you ask me. Alright, let's go for a Dragon Rage. Gonna run out of PP for Dragon Rage soon, so we've gotta be very careful. Woo! No, not Supersonic. Wait! No! Hurt itself. Not cool, man. Ouch, bite again. Come on. Get through the confusion, dude! Get through the confusion! No, don't hurt yourself! This cannot be another case of Fire Rash where I just like. Fire Rash, I got extremely unlucky and I hurt myself in confusion 11 or 12 turns out of 12 turns? It's crazy. So I had like, the worst luck I've ever had in Pokemon. So like I just cannot get through the confusion. I can't hurt myself. I was like, are you serious, game? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, Confuse Ray. Why do Zubats have Confuse Ray and Supersonic? 
Makes no sense to me. It's the same move. Just get rid of the confusion. No, stop hurting yourself, Gyarados. Why you do this? He's gonna die now, isn't he? Critical hit. Okay, uh, Dragon Rage should finish you off, so please get that from. Oh, not confused no more. Whew. Lucky, lucky me. Level 31 clamps! Can't wait to get a Caesar. He's so good. Like our team, all we need to do is evolve Quilava, evolve Eevee, and then evolve Caesar or Cypher, and then our team is like complete. We have a pretty powerful team. <laughs> I love this private grimer. So cute. Should have really healed up as well. Would it be a smart thing to do? Sludge? Oh, come on, you can live that. Come on, Gyarados, 11 HP. You got this? No. It's fine. Going to clamps to finish it off. Well, it's not really clamps yet, is he? More blades. Oh, you have like, loads of Grimers. This is where Espeon would come in so clutch. If I had an Espeon. Oh, Eevee. Why don't you love me? Why don't you love me when I show you nothing but... Well, why do you hate me when I show you nothing but love? Seriously. Like, Eevee loves... Or, well, Togepi loves me now. Or, Togetic, I should say. Great. And last Pokemon, probably another... Oh, Muck, okay. There's probably another Grimer, but... Level 25 Muck, we got this. Quick attack barely does any damage. Oh, Harden, no, 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 no. Bad Muck. Let's try a wing attack. Do any more damage? Oh, nice. That wasn't even a critical hit. Hey, let's go. Another wing attack, finish it off. I'll go for that more often. Is XP share split in my XP in half still? <laughs> okay, good to know. I'm gonna avoid some of these people. Don't battle them all. Oh, yo. That unknown child wandering here? Who are you? Didn't think you were a trainer, to be fair. I thought you were just some like engineer of the radio tower, but it's all good. That's fine. Got Kalava. Gonna switch these two rounds. I can just spam Flame Wheel first move. Nice. Taking them Magmites out in one go. Not much XP, but it would do. Another Magnemite. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. All the Flame Wheels. Take all the Flame Wheels. Probably one more Magnum. If you got a Magneton, that'd be great. More XP. Like, I welcome a Magneton right now. Ah. Triple Magnemite. I wonder if, like, in the Pokemon world, if anyone ever, like, you know, came across, like, a Magnemite nest, saw three just chilling next to each other, thought, oh, look at Magneton! For a ball, it's like only one good cause. Like, no! It's only one Magnemite! I want the Magneton! That'd be hilarious, and okay, no can't go that way. Yo, what up? I've been given strict orders to crush anyone who challenges Team Rocket. Okay. Seems like the thing in this game, we don't actually dress up as Team Rocket. Unless it's a little bit later on. Oh, it might be to infiltrate where the director is, actually. It might be a little bit late in a different like, kind of location. Or it might, might just be Crystal. I don't remember. Ooh, the XP is actually quite nice. Considering it's split, of course. Might just lead off with Polar until it's 33. Do 
Doing that walk, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got the burn. So good. Minimize what? Burn's gonna finish you off, buddy. Well, I hope it does. Yeah, yeah! In your face, Grimer! In your face! Clan's fairly too sweet. And Zubat. Uh, yeah. Might just leave the XP show on Clan's for a little bit, because... I don't know when's like the best time for us to use clamps right now. So just keeping him uh you know on par with everyone else with XP share is probably a good idea. Although he might end up getting overpowered because when everyone gets 33, he has to begin XP. It's all good. Makes him nice and powerful, ready for Kanto. Or we'll be making full use of our Caesar. Very good, very good. What? For a split second I thought it was like, what? Eevee is evolving? It's like, wait, how are you evolving now? Gotta fight that scientist dude, aren't we? Yep. Most excellent. This radio tower will, f will fulfill our grand design. Good to know, dude. Well, I'm about to stop you, so... Sucks for you. Got one Pokemon. Sign his rich. Got a Porygon? Hey. Got a 30 as well. That's good XP for us. It's not the, you know, I want everyone to be level face. We've got decent XP, but this is the best Pokemon we've battled so far. Oh, nice. Oh, if we can burn it, because I don't think this next Flame Rule is going to finish it off. It's Water type. Oh, definitely not. Okay, let's just go for a cut then. Flame Wheel won't do much and try attack. Come on, you can live that. Ooh, better than anything. Oh, you paralyzed me though. Usually try attacks do so much more damage to me. Oh, I'll recover. Okay, if you water something, I'm switching to Jason just because I found a punch. Otherwise, we're going to be at this for a very long time. Conversion. Okay. What are you typing now? Normal type? Ugh. Still go for a Thunder Punch, it's fine. And Cypher gets 417! Could be near the top now, surely? Yeah. It's a fake director, isn't it? Let's, uh. Actually, what I might do? I'm gonna revive Gyarados. I think we share on Gyarados right now. I'm still going level 33, so I want to switch. Take XP share off you. Give to Agent G. Uh, there it is. And then we'll just quickly use a paralyzed heal. Heal up Koalava, and then we are good to go. The guys were like, teamwork guys, like, come on, hurry up, come over and talk to me. He's like, oh, just hold on, buddy, I'm just, just healing up. Hold your horses. Hold your horsey. Why can't I go that way? So, blocked off. Oh. You, you, you came to rescue me? Is that what you were expecting? Wrong. I'm an imposter. I pretended to be the real thing to prepare for our takeover. Do you want to know where we hid the real director? Sure, I'll tell you. But only if you can beat me. No, imagine how well Team Rocket's plans would go if they never revealed their plans. Like, he doesn't have to tell me where the real director is. Nothing forcing him, he can run away. But no. He's like, I'll tell you if you beat me in a battle. Our passwords for our base? I'll only tell you the passwords for our base if you beat me. Not like I could tell you a wrong password that sets off our alarm and someone's all Team Rocket to, you know, capture you, but whatever. You know, Team Rocket aren't very smart sometimes. So if I was an evil team leader, I'd be like, hiring for my evil team must have an IQ higher than, you know, a certain IQ. Because it seems like Team Rocket have very, very low IQs. Ooh, back at level 33 though. One more flame wheel taking out coffin. Might go with Jason next, just game 33. Ooh, 
Oh, it's really level 30 coffin. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Critical hit. Actually, I'm going to use Eevee just for this battle because I think this counts as an important battle where we get more uh, more happiness. I read like uh, Elite Four members, gym leaders, rival battles. I think it's like for winning the battle and not dying, they get plus three happiness, which is pretty good. Post the plus one, something like that. So let's go into Eevee. And I swear, if this if this coffin explodes on me, I am not going to be happy. Probably will, no my luck. Should really maybe bite it, might do a bit more damage. Critical hit, ooh, okay. Go on, flinch it, flinch it, flinch it! Ah. Don't get poisoned, don't get poisoned. No, we got poisoned! Just my luck. So close. Flinch it, flinch it, flinch it, please! It's fine, more bite, takes it out. We should live. Yeah, we should live 24 HP. Let's go make sure we switch out now. A wheezing? Okay. Jason, or you, buddy? That was 32, damn. This is more like it. What about more Pokemon like this? Give me a button of XP. Oh, some good damage. Smoke screen. But it failed! One more Thunder Punch. That takes out the Weezing. We may grow a level. Oh, so close, dude. So close. The coffin will stay in. Another Thunder Punch. And probably go Toga Tick just to, uh, Start working on him as well. Just a shame we can't get Togekiss in this. This guy has five coffins. Oh, i switch out. Oops. Five coffins and one Weezen. Like, what kind of team is that? Hmm, what, what's a great team to, a well balanced team to defeat any trainer? I know. Five coffins and a weasen. It's too strong, man. No one's gonna get past that. If they try our self-destruct. Didn't go self-destruct once, so that's mean. This plan screwed, but we stashed the road director in the underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the underground. But I doubt you'll get that far. Oh, thanks for the basement key as well. I doubt you get that far. Just in case you can't, here's the basement key. This will help you get there. <laughs> oh man. I feel like I can still battle these guys, so I want to just be careful. Oh, let's go to the poison on Eevee. We won't survive the poisoning, and um, yeah. Do not want to lower its happiness anymore. That would be bad. We're going to like an escape rope I can use to save some walking. I can't even like, press down on the bottom just to go back to the top. I got manually scroll up. I don't have any escape ropes. Well, that sucks. Right, so I beat you around there. Almost out. God, I miss running so much. Can you imagine if you run this game? Life would be the best. All right, let's go heal up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray here. Next episode, we're gonna go to the underground basement, rescue the real director, and clear Team Rocket out of Golden Rod Radio Tower. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Peace.